In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a wire channel or an additional wire packet to any mask that you make. First things to know about wire, you can choose pretty much any kind. Um, length can be up to you. I like to do three and a half inches. What's really important is that you wanna turn the edges of your wire like this. The reason you do that is one, um, so it's not pokey against the face, and two, the, having these blunt edges will help it from moving around inside your mask. First wire addition we're going to do is just adding a channel to your mask. It looks just like that. To make a wire channel, I like to hold my wire in place and just mark with a pin either side. You want to top stitch to your pin mark, then back stitch a few times. and then continue sewing. I like to leave a little more space than my top stitch. Now we have an opening to slide our wire in. Now you can take your wire and slide it in and get it into that channel. Now that our wire's in, we can close this up and continue to top stitch. In this next section, I'm gonna show you how to add an additional piece of fabric on the top of your mask to make a little pocket. This is really good if your mask is already done or you have a mask that doesn't have a filter pocket and you have no way of getting inside there. To make a pocket for our wire on top of our mask, we're going to make a piece of bias tape. So the best way to do that is to measure on a square piece of fabric, two inches, you can then use your ruler and measure up two inches to this point, across and down, and draw from the corner through that point. That is the bias of the fabric. We then wanna make a one inch piece of fabric. So you can just use that as one of your edges. and this is going to be our bias strip. Once we have a bias strip, we wanna make it longer than a piece of wire. So make sure you cut your wire and turn the ends before you cut out your bias. I just lay it on here and leave about a half inch on either side. And cut it. Now we're going to iron the edges of our bias piece. You can measure it but I just like to fold a little bit down and iron as I go. The next step is to pin or clip your bias piece to the top of your mask. You can cut this on the straight, but the reason that we cut this on a bias is that if you have a curve in your mask for the nose, then the bias will match that. Um, if you're just using a straight pattern accordion style mask, you might not need to cut the bias. You could just cut a straight piece and fold down the edges.
Now we're going to stitch around our piece of bias tape. You want to stitch really close to the edge so that you catch both layers of your bias tape. Now that this is stitched and you left a part open, you can just slide your wire right in there, like that, and then stitch this edge closed. That's it, now you have two masks with two different types of channels in them.